In this video, we're going to look at how to make a nice flyer like this. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you're old here, thank you so much for coming back again. So here are the resources that I'm going to use in this particular video and I will link them up in the description. So if you want to download any of these, it will be in the description. Now let's get into Photoshop. So over here, I'm going to create a new document where the sizes four by four inches like I used to do because this will be going on my Instagram and I need to work around it but you can use any other size like a4 a3 if you really want to use that one so 4 by 4 and then i'll click ok so this is the size that i'm having and the first thing that i'm going to bring inside is this flying eagle so i'll drag and drop it inside of photoshop and then i hold shift and then alt to stretch this one out except of course if you're using photoshop 2019 you don't need this shift and other stuff so i want to drag it over here i don't want the eagle i just want the sky or the clouds so i have it over here like that and then i'm going to right click and rasterize the layer and then i'll add a layer max to this select my brush tool and i'm going to make sure it's a bit big and make sure the hardness is zero and i'm going to brush off this area like that so i'll basically have it like this the more you increase the brush the more softening it will be like so over there like that let's go ahead and bring in the next one that is the manipulated sky i just want the skies okay so when i bring it in over like this i'm going to press ctrl t to resize it that one also i just want only the sky okay so the idea here is that you can maintain either this one or that one so i believe after this um, video you're going to know which one to use the best so i'm going to brush off this one also i'm going to brush the whole of this area because i don't want this area so left with this one alone and that will be it so that is the second part so next i'm going in to bring the picture of jesus and that of um, jesus of nazareth so i'll bring the picture over here this is an encounter flyer so i want the part where the guy met jesus that he encountered him so the rest of them i don't really need them in the flyer so i'm going to add a layer max to it and then i'm going to get rid of them right away so i'm going to brush off all this area and make the edges that soft so that is it and then i'm going to set the opacity to 50 percent so 50 like this will do for me so next off i'm going to bring in this particular image that i have over here then i'm going to drag and drop it on top of the whole layer so you can stretch it out like this and make sure it has filled the whole document so i really only need the sun out of this so i'm going to right click and rasterize go to the blending mode and then i'm going to change this to screen and i have this particular thing over there so i'll go ahead and add a gradient to this particular document that we are working on i've already set the gradient so i'll give you the coordinates over here so that is it this is the hexa code so you can copy this one and you click ok when you are done okay so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add our test and then i'm going to make use of this font called beautiful mountains so i'm going to use that to write the divine okay so i'll press ctrl t to resize it and make sure that i have it in the middle over here so that is it it doesn't really necessarily have to be in the middle all way but then you can put it somewhere around here so that it will cover most of the parts okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add 
a gradient to this particular test so i'll go to the blending options and then gradient and i've already set the gradient so i'll just give you the coordinates so this is the gradient that i'm going to use and then i will click ok but then i'm going to duplicate this particular test because i want to make it a bit more like a 3d type you can use the normal 3d in your workspace but then we want to make this a costume one so after copying this one i'm going to right click and then rasterize the layer style so this particular thing right here is now a rasterized layer so we're going to turn the original off to have just the duplicated one the rasterized duplicated one we press ctrl t to transform right click and then we go to perspective so we're just going to squeeze this one a little bit let me drag it somewhere here you can just take your time so this is what i want a little bit of that so it it's way perspected right i don't know if perspected is even a, an english word but then let's take it like that and then i'm going to duplicate that one and right click on a duplicated one go to the blending options and then i'm going to give it a color say black okay you can use any color of course i'm going to give it a color and then okay so after doing that what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the arrow keys and press it downwards a bit like this okay so if you zoom in critically you can see that we are having the shape over there but then it it doesn't really have to be that much so because if you look at this place for instance you can see it is becoming white so it doesn't really have to be that much so you make sure it has filled every place and then you press ctrl j to make a duplicate again and then you pick the last one that is the one that you can bring it down the more so you can do about five or six of these and then i believe you'll be good to go so it's just a matter of duplicating and bringing them down so it depends on how long you want this one to be like but i think these five will be okay for me so afterwards i'm going to select the first copy that we made and then we're going to right click on it and go to the blending options and then i'm going to select the bevel and emboss over here the size is going to be six and every other thing is going to be except for the gloss contour and then i'm going to choose this particular gloss contour over here okay so afterwards i'm going to right click and that is it for my divine test okay so i'm going to select all of these select that one hold shift and then select the rest and then i'm going to press ctrl g to group them so this is for the divine you can transform it a little bit if it looks so big for you so right from here i'm going to shift the divine a little bit to this side and then i'm going to write the encounter right under that of the divine so i'm going to select the test tool again and i'm going to use a vertical insert so i'm going to write encounter and this is the color that i'll be using for the encounter so i'll press ctrl t to resize this and make sure it is somewhere around here it doesn't really have to be under that of the divine but then you can just size it up to make it look better okay so we are going to manipulate this particular encounter that we've copied also so just like we did to the divine i'm going to duplicate it select the down one right click and go to the blending options and then i'm going to add a color overlay to it so perhaps you can change it straight from the color panel over there so we bring it down using the arrow keys and then we bring this one down we make another duplicate and then you're going to bring that one down a little more i think this one too is enough but then we're going to manipulate the top most one we're going to right click on it go to the blending options and drop a shadow the shadow has to be a little bit bigger so we make it like this so that it can be seen from that area so right from there we're going to the bevel and inbox and then we're going to change this one to eight something like eight this might change according to the test the font and the sizes that you are using so you have to be very careful yours might not be as the same 
as this one so we select that one and then we're going to choose this particular gloss contour okay so i'll click ok and that is it for that of the encounter also so you can group this one also and call it encounter okay so you can rename the grouped ones just like i did for the divine i can rename this one for divine test okay so from here let me squeeze the divine a little bit i think this looks very big for me uh yeah so i think this one will do and then the encounter also because i've grouped it you can see that i can easily manipulate it from this side so let's go ahead and add a 19 to it so 19 and i'm using the font a vertical insert okay so let's open it up by using ctrl t to open this one up a little bit i don't want it this space up so i'm going to the toggle character on top here and then i'm going to close it up a little bit like that i don't want it that much opened so i'll press ctrl t to resize it a little more and then that is it for the 19 also you can push it anywhere you really want to push it but then i believe you have to make use of this one well for the sake of the tutorial but then if you take your time you're going to get it correct so why don't we select the three and then push it up a little bit like this so that there can be a little space over there and then we try to position it somewhere over here well i think that's good so we're going to add a couple of effect to the 19 over here so we first of all add a color overlay to this one and i've already copied a color overlay so this is it and then you click ok now let's add a gradient overlay so i've already set the gradient overlay also so this is it the hexa code is over here if you want to copy that one out and then you click ok and then ok let's make some slight changes over here we're going to change the style to reflected and we're going to reverse it over there like that okay so the next one is we're going to drop a shadow to it and then you can increase that one as much as you want to increase that finally inner shadow and we're going to change the color to white okay and then change the blend mode to normal and they choke to 100 percent and then we click ok so those are the effects that we are going to add to that of the 19 over there okay so right from here let's go ahead and add the theme for the program over here so i'm going to write theme over here and then i'm using the font railway and the color is this one so i'm going to add it over here press ctrl a and make sure that it is in the middle I'm going to duplicate that one drag it over here and then i'm going to type in a theme so consecrated consecrated for service so after typing that i'm going to push it up over here duplicate it and then drag it down over here so i'm going to edit this one but then i will prefer to use acrobat instead of railway and then this one is going to be semi bold and I'm going to type in the scripture. So second Timothy chapter two, verse 20 to 21. Okay. So that is the scripture supporting the theme. Okay. So I believe you are almost done with this. So you push it up on top over here like that. And you take your time to do this very neatly. So we are going to do that of the loading so for the loading i'm going to use my radius that is the rounded rectangle with a radius of about 20 or you can increase it up let's increase it to 50 if you want the roundness really well so i'm going to draw this roundness over here and then i'm going to change the fill let me bring it on top change the fill to zero percent right click and go to the blending options and then i'm going to add a stroke to this and change the color to white so that is it this is what i'm having okay so i'm pressing ctrl a to make sure it is in the middle next off i'm going to duplicate it and then clear the layer style so you right click on it and you clear the layer style so you have the one that we just edited 
pack and then you're going to right click and go to rasterize layer and you're going to pick any of our lasso tools so we start from here and you hold shift to get the proper diagonal and then you can cut this one off so i'll cut this one off and then i'll come and pick my test tool and write loading over here so that i'm going to use a font called ocr extended okay so i'm using ocr extended for this particular loading okay so we are almost done with this whole thing but the last thing that we're going to do is this lens flare so we're going to put it on top of all that we've done so far and that is going to give it the unique look that you see on a thumbnail okay i believe by now you are wondering why it is so plain like this okay this is going to do the magic so after importing it i'm going to right click and rasterize the layer change the blend mode to screen and that is it it changes the whole thing absolutely so i'll press ctrl t and then i'm going to open this one up like that and you can see it is giving it that shiny look so we go to filter to blur and then gaussian blur and we make it somehow some way somehow very very blurry so you can open it up a little bit so the more you in the, the more you open it the more it shines over the whole thing so i'm going to duplicate that one and then bring it over here so on top of this place and then i'm going to leave it like this so after bringing it over here it still looks so pale the whole thing looks so pale for me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some curves to it so i'm basically going to drop the curves like this and that makes the whole thing look super awesome so that is the look that you saw from the thumbnail so these are the basic effects that you can add to this one okay so that is it so finally i'm going to add the church name and that of the logos and everything and I would like to borrow from a work that I've done already. So let me quickly skip this part and open that up. These logos are for the Methodist Church and the Ghana Methodist Students Union. So I'm going to select these two logos, the first one and the second one. Then I'm going to send them inside of Photoshop over here. So I would want this one here. And instead of leaving this one here, I would want to bring it under that of this one okay so i'll put it here and then i'm going to add my reflections so these are the reflections that i used that one that you see inside of it so you can put it inside of this place anywhere you want to put it so i'll just drag and drop it and leave it right over here okay so it gives it some sort of reflection that is it so I'll leave one here, make a duplicate, and then I'll leave the second one also here and make another duplicate. The third one would have to be a little bit smaller. Okay, so we can leave it somewhere around here. So finally, I'm going to add the church name. That is your, your church name if you want to use that one. So I'm going to add a church name. So that is it, but you can still make some quiet manipulations over here for the curves. You can make it look more brightening like that. So that is it. So basically that is how to create a 3D realistic flyer for your church. This, I didn't use anything, any 3D in here, but then we've created something that looks very realistic. So if you, you can see clearly that if you take off that of the lens flare the thing looks something like bomb okay so lens flare makes a lot in your work so you can download most lens flares on google you just type in lens flares and then you can get plenty of them but you have to work according to the colors that you are using 
you have blue and so many colors of them you have to work according to the colors that you are using so basically that's it thank you so much for having time to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and then i'll see you in the next one innocent here bye